Alright, hello and welcome to our next Let's Play, which is going to be Tadpole Trouble, for what I like to call Indie Wednesdays. That's right, we're going to be trying to do adding one more thing to, uh... We're going to be trying to add Wednesdays to gaming as well. For those, it'll be once a week, and I'm going to tr I'd like to do some indie games for those. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Right now, it's asking us what's our name, though, so let's see. Oh. Go with. Since I already have one Kevin, I'll go with what my screen name typically is for when I'm doing stuff. But yes, this is Tadpole Trouble. It is a rhythm game by. Oh, Maximum. That's not quite what I said, but close enough. By, um. Matthew Toronto, as well as his brother, I believe, and a few other people. His wife, I believe, was one of them. I know there's a couple people that he was involved with, but um, if the art happens to look familiar to you, there is, in fact, a reason for that. This was made by the, this. That's because Matthew Toronto, as some of you may know, also did Brawl in the Family, which I think two years ago now ended, but we can get back to talking about that in a minute after. But it's a really cute game. Um, honestly, it's a lot of fun for the price. It came out for Wii. You, okay, hold on a second, Molly. Stop it. She's getting on my keyboard, and I gotta get the cat out of here before she decides to um, start wiggling about too much and then um, accidentally pausing or stopping the recording. But she hasn't done. I have to check that. She's cute, and typically I'd give her attention. But it doesn't work very well. But yeah, I think Brawl and the Family ended about oh two years ago now. Two years ago sounds right. I was gonna say it looks like my cat just got back up to where she was before, which actually might be a blessing in disguise. Because I was gonna say there's something that I'm going to try to grab from here. Let's stop that. There's a song that I'm trying. I'm going to try to get to play, which is going to be a little bit difficult because it doesn't happen to play every time, but I figured it'd be a nice little extra to possibly get in the actual video. If not, I know that um, Matthew did uh, happen to actually post it on a uh, Oh, not his website, his uh, YouTube channel, that's it. So it's like, if worse comes to worse, I can just tell people to go there, but I am hoping to at least have the possibility of that. Also, the little uh, orb things are, and uh, the health are probably the two most important items in the game. And now the cat has jumped in front of the screen again. Yes, I know, you don't like it when you don't get your way. And I just missed up by mistake. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying. I am going to be trying to. Cat. That's it. Hold on a second. If she's just going to be continually jumping back in front of me the entire time, how would you go? You're cute. I love you. Boy. I apologize for that. As I said, I don't mind pausing to try to get the song. I was gonna say, it was partially playing there. I never noticed that before. It's like, it's not as upbeat, I suppose, as the typical version. But it, um, and I was gonna say, Matthew Toronto is somebody that happens to be pretty good at music. In case you can't tell since he made Rhythm Game, but I was going to say, back when he was doing Brawl in the Family, he had a couple of specials. I can't remember how many exactly. But yeah, I was going to say, he's a pretty cool guy. I like his stuff. He's pretty, uh, he's got a pretty level head. We are totally just going to miss this by one, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate. 
I love that cat, but it's like, Molly, come on, you gotta knock down the way. I was gonna say, if I have to, I can always come back, I suppose, and uh, grab that one off camera. I, As far as I understand, I believe that there is a hidden level that you have to do well enough. Or it might be if you get all the flies, and the flies can on occasion be... And, oh, hold on, cutscene. Man, it feels like technically good talk since there's no words, but, you know, it's polite. It's like a single picture movie where you want to be quiet. So I should probably actually be quiet, shouldn't I? And that's the story of how this of that. And not good English sometimes. Alright, so we move from down there. And we actually can you cannot do that level for a long, long time. So, as I say, if you want to do that level, you have to get back there. And I there's only one or maybe two levels on here. I think it's just one level that I don't like, which is pretty impressive for you know, the underwater levels. Wink. Nobody likes the underwater levels. I was gonna say, but, um, that was a good one, honestly. It wasn't a very good one, but the joke mainly being that a lot of people don't like uh, the underwater levels. Although I typically don't happen to dislike them too much. I happen to find them typically pretty fun, but that's alright. No, I was gonna say, Matthew. Uh, Oh, dang it. Hold on. We're gonna retry since we just started. The only reason I didn't restart the last one was because we were right at the end. So it was going to be kind of silly. I would at least like to happen to try to not mess up too badly. And as to whether or not that would happen to happen, that remains to be seen. And I was gonna say, um, most of the music in here is really good. I think there's only one level which music I don't happen to like. But I was gonna say, that's fine as well. Not everybody likes the same music, so it's like, uh, if I... Okay, I'm just gonna... Continue on. And yes, I did see that I technically know this one. I missed one. But no, as I said, the game mechanics for this are pretty nice. Most people can pick it up. It's uh, a little bit difficult to uh, master, but not too terribly hard either at the same time. I'm also happy, going to be ha probably messing up a little bit here and there because there is, since it's a music game, there is uh, music cues. However, I don't want to have that annoying effect where it's like you hear the music twice, so I have, however, made it so that I'm listening to a, uh, the music at a much about five seconds later, so that might mess me up because unfortunately, for whatever reason, uh, they decided not to put the music on uh, the gamepad itself, which, hey, that's alright. So, I mean, a little bit annoying, but that's how they want to do it. Wow. I really do like the characters. There's not very many characters for this, but it's just such a simple game where it's just cute and fun for everybody, and it's like, I don't really think like, oh, this is the part that I don't like because it's like, you have a split second to grab those three. Admittedly, at the moment, it doesn't happen to matter as much since I already happened to miss that one. And I meant to say, uh, while I'm thinking about it before I forget, the music that's playing right here at the moment kind of reminds me a little bit of Golden Sun the Lost Age, just like the, uh, Pipes because of uh, the air shot and the That's my sign. I'll announce the plans that I have for that game later. It's like, if I didn't happen to play that in this channel, that would be weird. And I'll explain why with an update video. I don't want to uh, let the cat out of the bag quite yet. Oh, did we really? Wow! Alright! We are really good at missing 
Although we did get S rank that time. And we got a challenge bar. Cool. Those are you get through specific um, challenges. Surprise. Um, you don't really know what they are at first. And I'll show you what. There's golden in their halos. And honestly, the hints aren't exactly 100% great, so I'm not always certain what that is. But at least, like, right now you see the fly down there. There's no hint. There is a way to actually unlock it, so you do get a hint. As I said, that one, that hint was not exactly 100% the greatest. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Sometimes Matthew Toronto is a little bit too clever for me. And now here we have a slurp song, which actually, as we find out, this turtle actually does have a little bit of backstory later on. We currently don't know about that, but uh, I'll see if I can get it to trigger later on. And this is one of the songs I actually really like, because it's like, a lot of rhythm games don't happen to have slower songs like this, and I happen to think it fits particularly well. Oh, I'm gonna miss the time to make it 99. Uh, uh, excuse me. Apparently, I just want it to be a 99 kind of day. If I can even hit 99 again, that's, that is the main thing that we're gonna have. Admittedly, if I just miss everything by one this entire playthrough, which I won't, I am expecting Thunder Can Canyon to give me a. Uh, Thunder Creek, pardon me. To give me significant problems. As I think Thunder Creek gives significant problems to a lot of people who play it. However, that does not necessarily mean that Thunder Creek is bad, because Thunder Creek is probably one of my uh, favorite songs in the game. As I said, as you can tell at the moment, there is no lyrics. There is actually a couple, three songs, I think, that do have lyrics. Three songs, right? One of them actually is coming up after here. So, you know, shortly. Although I will say that um, there was one thing I wish that the Matthew could have done, and I'm not sure if he could have technically or not, so I'm not going into this, that since the Wii U version possibly could have had Mario, uh, a couple extra stages and maybe it'll be DLC. Oh, okay. maybe it'll, it'll be DLC, so I do uh, But since, you know, Nintendo. Oh, I missed two! Grab that last one. Oh, I probably went down too far. I think it's a challenge fly though, so that's good. That's, that's the third stage. Yes, that is. Okay. So as long as you don't make too many mistakes, you'll be able to get a decent amount of bubbles, and the bubbles you do actually need. Um, those are the currency in the game. I get for you to explain that. And oh, this isn't the one I was thinking of. Actually, I was thinking. Okay, it's the, if I remember correctly, it's the level after this, where you actually get the first song with, um, lyrics. But this one's also cute, because it does have a throwback. But as I was saying, I would have loved, and possibly if there's DLC, Matthew, I'd love that too. Because it's like, I'd be willing to do that, or a sequel. How it would have been cool to have, uh, you know, Mario or Zelda themed stuff. I mean, that's always pretty amusing. Kind of like a uh, correlation, I think, with that word I'm looking for. I also think it would have been cool. I would have bought this twice if uh, there had been, since it was released on Steam, if there had been like, uh, I don't really know if there's any music Valve is well known for now that I'm thinking about it. I was going to say if uh, they had done some stuff, I suppose the only really thing that they could have, that Matthew could have done is stuff in Portal. And I don't know if that would have been. That would have been doable, actually, I could see that. I was gonna say, have a. Uh... Oh, I know her name. Like, uh, Matthew's character name, the Tep. Oh, I know her name! Okay, I'm blanking out. But either way, I could have seen, like, Lados noticing that there was some kind of intrusion or something. But hey, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes a game is good on itself, but it doesn't need to rely on other stuff, which that is something that I actually happen to enjoy as well. 
The game can be good with references, however, if a game is too ripe with references, I don't think it happens to have its legs to stand upon as much, unfortunately. Which, sometimes that's not true. I wonder why that pill is crying. Oh, I just went just... I did that twice in a row. I went too high. Yeah, as you can see, my skills at this game are starting to become worse. I really do like this game, but I'm not the best at rhythm games, especially where I am five seconds late. <laughs> that does happen to make it a bit harder, so I'm having to uh, rely entirely on looking at the screen to get it just right. Ah. Hopefully I get at least 70? 70 wouldn't be bad. Ninety-two. All right, I feel like that. You know the sad thing? I think I'm technically doing better than on my main save file. I made the mistake of that, however. I'm definitely doing better than my first time on the main save file, which that doesn't happen to be too surprising, because I mean. This is the second time I'm playing the game. If I wasn't better than the second time I'm playing the game, I think I'd be more concerned about that. But, I was gonna say, we'll save the uh, actually lyrical song for uh, next time. <laughs> but um, that will do it for this episode. However, before you go, let's say some quick prayers. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you very much for watching. You make sure that you have a great day, and God bless.